actives and distributions of endowments, gifts, extraordinary, extraordinary power, distinguishing certain Christians. These are distinguishing gifts. These are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. These are extraordinary gifts. They produce power in your life and in my life. Amen? Amen. Now, you have to understand that these gifts, and we're going to see that, that the gifts are used at the discretion of the Holy Spirit. They belong to Him. Amen. They belong to Him. I was teaching on this one time, and I told somebody, I said, if I gave you the keys to a new car, that's your car. Amen. But if I said, you can borrow mm -hmm. my car, mm -hmm. then you don't take my car until I give it to you. Right, man. The Holy Spirit is the same way with the gifts. When we ask the Holy Spirit to let us, allow us to use his gifts, he will allow us to use them as it benefits him and the church. We have to understand everything we do through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we have to do to edify and lift up the body of Christ. Amen. We can't use them to just show off. We cannot use them to show off. Amen. Amen. Be careful of people laying hands on you or, or prophesying to you and, and trying to speak in tongues in the congregation when ain't nobody saying nothing to them about tongues. Because see, if tongues are used in this assembly, there need to be an interpreter if he's prophesying to the body. If he's not prophesying to the body and he's praying in the Holy Spirit, that's fine. But when he prophesies to the body, you better have an interpreter in the house. So if he turn around and interpret his own prophecy, I'm going to say, no, 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 no. No, no, that don't work. That don't work. Okay, so we have to be knowing what we're talking about, knowing what we're doing in the service and also in the use of the gifts. Amen? Amen. Now, let's move on. Now, these are, as I said in verse 4, these are distinctive varieties and dis distributions of, of endowments, gifts, extraordinary powers, distinguishing certain Christians due to the power of divine grace operating in their souls which is your mind, your will, and your emotions by the Holy Spirit and the very and they vary. But the Holy Spirit remains the same. The gifts vary but the Holy Spirit remains the same. And they are distinctive varieties of services and ministrations. But it is the same Lord who serve. Amen? Amen? And there are distinctive varieties of operations of working to accomplish things. But it is the same God who inspires and energizes them all in all. But the, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Everyone Everyone in the body of Christ can operate in these gifts. Amen. These gifts are not just for preachers. These gifts are not just for prophets and teachers and evangelists and apostles. These are for everybody in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. So everybody gets to use the gifts. And let's find out what they are. To one is given in and through the Holy Spirit the power to speak, a message of wisdom, and to another the power to express a word of knowledge and understanding according to the same Holy Spirit. To another, the working, the wonder working faith by the same Holy Spirit. Look at that. Faith is a gift. Amen. Faith is a gift. Uh -huh. And guess what? Faith is the fruit of the Spirit. So the faith that you operate in, the faith that you say we come this far by faith, you're talking about a gift and a fruit. They have to be grown. The fruit has to be grown. 
That's why they are given to us. They, these fruit that we're talking about here are given to us. They are ours to do with what we want to do. But we need to grow them so we can operate in them. But the, the gift of faith, that's the Holy Spirit. Amen. So if we're dealing in faith, we're dealing in two areas where God is saying, okay, one is yours, the other one is mine. So let's bring them together and let's work together here. Amen. 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 So, to another, the working miracles, to another, the prophetic insight, the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose, to another, the ability to discern and distinguish between the utterance of true spirits and false ones. True spirits and false ones. That's that discerning the gift spirit. That's that one that we're talking about right now. That's that one that you got to possess and you got to ask the Holy Spirit all the time. That, that gift has to grow in you. That gift has to stay with you. Because see, we have to understand that when we're dealing with people, we ain't dealing with John, Billy, and Susie. We're dealing with the Spirit in that person. Because see, there are certain people who allow demons and devils to work through them. And when they allow demons and devils to work through them, they gave them access into the earth realm. Satan is the, the prince of the power of the air. Amen. Christians have authority on the face of the earth. We have authority. The Bible says the devil is under our feet. Yes. And I tell people all the time, I'm 210 pounds. If he's under my feet, that's where he's going to stay. Amen. Amen. Amen? And that's where he ought to stay with you, under your feet. And the thing is that when we allow Satan to come into our spirit and use us and possess us, and deal with people through us, you have given them opportunity to come into the earth realm uninvited, unwelcome, and, and also illegal. That's right. As an illegal act. The Spirit of God, however, comes to us and through us as we receive Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen. As we plead the blood, as we understand the cross, as we understand what happened at the cross, as we partake of the cross, because Paul said, I died with it. And you have to see yourself hanging there on that cross with Jesus and then raised on that third day along with him. And we have to see ourselves there. That way we become part of him. We become part of him. Amen? Glory to God. Oh, for just as the body is united and yet has many parts, and all the parts through many from one, from only one body, so it is with Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. So in other words, this ministry, Great Commission ministry, all of the ministries around the city, all of the ministries around the world, we're still a part of one another. Amen. We 